State Championship Saturday at the University of North Carolina, the 1A title game on the line. Tarboro took on Mount Airy for the second straight season in the championship game. The Vikings defense was tough throughout a big turnover on downs. Got them great field position, but there was no scoring in the first quarter of the game. They would take the lead in the second quarter when Oscar Perez Gasper hit a 39-yard field goal for Tarboro and they led 3-0 at the half. Tarboro had a turnover on downs of their own in the third. They were stuffed on fourth and one, setting up good field position. Mount Airy would capitalize as Tyler Mason goes in for the touchdown. He was the game MVP for the second straight season. 7-3 Granite Bears. The play of the game came on this hit in the backfield by the Vikings. The whistle does blow. The ball came out and appeared to be a fumble recovered for a touchdown. It was ruled the play was over and not a fumble. It was a fumble, and I don't know if they blew the play dead, and that's why the fumble didn't count, or they said it wasn't a fumble, but it was definitely out, and we needed any momentum we could get at that time. A few plays later, Granite Bears break a reverse to open up the fourth quarter. Mario Revels takes it 89 yards for the touchdown. They got one more late, and Mount Airy repeats as state champions 21-3. They went undefeated. Tarboro finishes 13-1. They're 8-6 in state finals all time. That senior class has been involved in, uh, you know, four state title games, and I think we've come out 2-2. Two two. Unfortunately, we've, we've lost the last two to a very good team. So I told them, guys, I love them. Thank you for everything you've done for Tarboro football. And, of course, I told my underclassmen, guys, you know, this is what it feels like to come up short again.